first thing we want to do to achieve these results is make a base effect stream. That's the stream that allows you to edit it so you can do all these cool things. Okay, so let's do that. Merv streams add base effects and we'll call it base. Okay, now to make sure that it was created properly, you can type in Merv streams print look up here and base is there. Okay, great. Now we want to preview it because we want to be able to see how all the commands we put in affects the base effect stream. Okay, so let's type in Merv streams preview and then base. Okay, now that we're previewing base, we can go ahead and put in our next command. All right, Merv streams edit base decal textures action draw or no draw. Let's type no draw in see what happens. Oh, look at that. The blood and bullet holes disappear, okay? So if you want to make a clean version of Counter-Strike, you definitely want to use that command, all right? Say the client you're working with doesn't like blood. Well, decals, texture actions is the way to go. Say you wanted to make Counter-Strike even more PG, right? Even more kid-friendly. Well, I've got some commands that'll help you get rid of the blood splatter and like the chunks of meat that fly off the player model when they get headshotted. Now, shout out to Molin for putting the legwork with the picker tool and getting these commands. If you want to follow him on Twitter, I put his Twitter link in the description down below. Really appreciate the work you did. Mullen. Okay, first command Merv streams edit base action filter add decals slash blood slash asterisk space no draw. That command actually does something very similar to what the first command does. Next one. Just press up, and then what you want to do is go over and delete all the stuff inside the quotations, and then type this next one in. Particle slash spray one. Do this double slash here and then asterisk. Okay. Press enter. One more thing just disappeared. Press up on the keypad, scroll over. All right, delete everything up to particle slash and then type in blood and then slash asterisk. All right, now press enter. One more piece just disappeared. All right, what we're gonna do is we're gonna press up, scroll over, delete everything up to particle and then we're gonna type in impact slash slash forward and backward and then asterisk, press enter. Press up, come over, delete all of this stuff. All right, then we're gonna type in effects slash blood slash asterisk press enter then we're going to press up again come over here delete all of this nonsense all right type in particle slash headshot and then slash slash forward and backward and then asterisk enter so as you can see that got rid of all the blood right the blood's completely gone now if you were just going for no blood then you could probably stop here but i'm going to keep going to really make it clean so press up get rid of all this okay then we're going to type in decals slash brick and then slash slash forward and backward and then we're going to type in asterisk and what that basically does is it gets rid of probably the chunks that come off the wall when a bullet hits it okay press up again delete all of this all right then we're going to type in particle slash sparks and then slash slash and then asterisk all right Press up, delete, and we're going to type in star now, slash, asterisk. Okay, so what this additional stuff did is it basically cleaned up all the particles that come off of the player model. Now, with all those commands, we have successfully made Counter-Strike basically kid-friendly, all right? This guy getting headshot here, he's got head armor, and as you can see, there are no sparks coming off, no gibs, no blood, nothing. The only sparks you'll see are probably the ones that are going to come off the wall over here, okay? So you see the bullet see the sparks coming off but look even the bullet holes don't even appear you don't see any chunks of the wall coming off you just see those sort of particle effects and then that's it that's all it takes to make counter-strike a little more pg a little more kid friendly all right thanks for watching this tutorial before i go i want to give a quick shout out to my patreons my executive producers kurza speedzor and dusty and then also a really special shout out to icy my other patreon without their support these tutorials wouldn't happen and i wouldn't be able to give you great content like i do okay if you're interested in supporting the channel and support me and getting great benefits from my Patreon, then click the link down below and sign up today and take advantage of that. All right, until next time.